and the book series. What the hell? What is tickling my nose? <sighs> okay. <laughs> hey friends. Hey friends. Hey friends, it's me, Alana. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am going to be talking about my March TBR for you all. So, I have decided that I'm going to take place in two readathons this month. I actually am co hosting one of them, and the other one I thought just sounded really fun, so I figured I would go ahead and participate. So the first readathon I'm co-hosting is the War Games readathon. If you saw my announcement that I posted like a week or so ago, uh, then you know what I'm talking about. If not, you should definitely go check out that announcement so you can get up to date and join my team, the Light Path, because I feel like we're gonna do great. The readathon was inspired by the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown because Aaron loves it so much. The point of the readathon is that you get to pick a path, the Dark Path, which is led by Aaron from Book to Busy, the Gray Path, which is led by Nicole from Nicole and Her Books, and then the Light Path, which is led by moi. Within each path you have a set of three characters that you can choose to be and under each character is a set of prompts that you can follow to basically do whatever with. So the way to win this is by star rating instead of page count. So the higher the rating of the book that you read the more points you get basically for your team so in this case you really have to choose wisely on what books you're going to read and really know yourself in order to make sure you like these books so under my path we have the chosen one the sage and the ruler so i decided that i was going to to the path of the chosen one. It's the prompts that I liked best, plus it's the prompts that fit the books I have most. So the first prompt I have is to read a book where the main character fits the chosen one trope. So for that one, I actually chose Nevermore by Jessica Townsend, The Trials of Morgan Crow. I figured this one would fit because it's about a girl named Morgan who ends up getting uh, chosen by a man to take to a like secret place called Nevermore and she has to basically compete in like a competition or something like that so I figured this felt like a chosen one trope because of the fact that she was like specifically chosen to get taken to this place and all that kind of stuff and I'm sure there's more going into it but I'm really really looking forward to reading this I've heard such good things about this and I've really been wanting to dive back more into middle grade and I figured this was a good pick to start with to do that the next prompt I have is to read a book with yellow or white on the cover. So for this one, I chose to read Kingdom of Flesh and Fire, which is the second book to Blood and Ash. I really enjoyed Blood and Ash. Um, this is a little spoiler from my wrap up. And so I am so excited to dive into the second one and honestly dive into the third one to see what happens next for Hawk and Poppy because this story was just so fun. Like granted it wasn't the best story I've ever read but it was fun. I had so much enjoyment from just reading about these characters in this world and yeah so I'm definitely looking forward to reading the second book. I think I'm really gonna like it and yay! 
The third prompt I have is to read a book with a mystery element in it. So for this one, I chose The Infinity Quartz by Kemi Don Bowman. This comes out in April of this year, so I figured this would be a good time as I need to read it since I got the arc pretty early. And this follows a girl who basically dies. And so when she gets to this like in-between place, uh, that isn't really heaven, but of course isn't hell. She finds out that this like computer system, I guess, runs the entire like place and it's not supposed to. And they don't know like how, I don't know, but it just seemed like there was a mystery element involved with the fact that like this computer system just took over like purgatory basically, I guess. So I'm definitely uh, excited to check this out and see what happens. It just sounds like it's gonna be really fun. Plus it sounds like it's got a squad because it's like a cast of characters or misfits or whatever. So I'm just really looking forward to checking this out and seeing how it goes. Number four is to read a book with a squad. So for this one, I actually chose Cook a Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. So I decided it was definitely time to go ahead and finish the Six of Crows duology since the TV show is coming out legit next month. So this is the time for me to pick this up and finish it finally and figure out what happens next for the crew obviously this has a squad there are they are a cast of criminals trying to somehow save the world or their world and money basically so i'm definitely looking forward to this i literally have no idea what's gonna happen i think i've only been spoiled on one thing this whole time since I've bought it, which honestly is pretty nice. But I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what happens next and just where the story goes because I have no idea, honestly. All right, and then the last prompt is to read a book you've been most anticipating. And the book I chose for that is A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth. This came out the last week of February and I've been just waiting to pick it up because I figured this would fit this readathon the best honestly but from what I remember it's basically a queer fantasy story so these four teens who are all queer get wrapped up in this like prophecy and one of them I think is supposed to like turn bad or, or like save the world but they don't know which one it is and they don't know if it they're supposed to destroy it or save it and it just seems like it's kind of like a fun fantasy of queerness and I am here for it. Alright and that's what I will be reading for the War Games Readathon. I'm so excited. I hope we win. If not I at least hope we all have fun because... It just, it's gonna be a good time. Hey friends, editing Alana here. I actually realized that I forgot to talk about a book that I'll be reading next month. Allie from Mrs. Dunn Reads asked me to co-host her currently reading book club for March, which I'm super, super excited to do that. We will be reading Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson, which I'm super duper excited to read. It looks like a really good book. The live show will be Saturday, March 27th at 7 p.m. Eastern, so I'm really excited to be doing that with Allie. I'm so grateful that she asked me, so definitely uh, come join us if you plan on participating and reading the book with us. Okay, next I'm also going to be participating in the Backlist Readathon, so for that one, first prompt I have is an Own Voices novel. So for that one I chose Always and Forever Laura Jean. I want to read this so I can finally finish the book series and the movie series. Alright, next prompt is a book in your favorite genre. So right now, surprisingly, my favorite genre is fantasy. It's what I've been consuming the most re over the past few months and I've been really enjoying it. So I'm going to go ahead and combine this prompt with another prompt from the War Games Readathon. I'm gonna go ahead and do Crooked Kingdom because I really need to read this. So I figured it would fit both prompts and still get the job done. Next I have a middle grade. I'm going to choose Suddenly Supernatural by Elizabeth Cody Kimmel. Um, this is one that I have had on my shelf for a very, very long time and I think I did read it but I can't remember so I want to reread it and give it a go especially because I had the other books in the series too and I really want to finish the series so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the list and 
hopefully have as much fun as I think I did when I think I read it the first time. Next I have a book published before 2017 and a book recommended by a book influencer and so uh, these are the last two prompts and I decided to combine them and I'm going to do Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. This is a book that Chanel from Chanel Time really loves and always recommends so that fits that prompt plus this was published in 2016 so that fits the other prompt so I'm actually really looking forward to reading this I've heard it has good uh, queer representation and I just am excited it sounds like it's gonna be a really good time and the last book I will be reading for March is one that's not gonna be re read for any readathons it's just on my spring TBR and you'll probably see that video at some point within the next few weeks but that book is Love and Luck by Jenna Evans Welch. So this seems like just a fun book to try and read in spring, especially because St. Patrick's Day is coming up and this actually takes place in Ireland. So I figured it fit the theme and the season almost and I'm just excited to check it out and see what it's like. Alrighty, so those are the books that I will be reading in March. I am so excited to be participating in the readathons and reading all the books. Please let me know if you will be joining me on The Light Path and let me know what character you've chosen because I'm just so excited. So uh, if you like the video, please go ahead and like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please go ahead and leave all of that down below. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Mm -hmm.